Elementary School. Happy Monday, Maple Shade Elementary School, and happy Monday, Kate! Kate, how are you doing today? I'm doing enthusiastic. Oh, yes, enthusiastic. I want like, like lights going and like balls dropping and like fireworks exploding. That's the first time someone has used the word enthusiastic on the Monday morning announcements. And it's got me enthusiastic, which is exactly how we should be feeling about a new week here at Maple Shade. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to enthusiastically rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready? Yes. Let's do it. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Kate, fantastic job. All right, so Kate, next year at this time, this kind of announcement, this is what you're going to be paying attention to. You don't have to pay that much attention to you yet because this really only applies to the fifth grade. But next year, you'd be like, oh, what's going to happen next? So fifth grade, here you go. First lunch this week um, is homerooms 20 and 19. That's first lunch this week. And um, first recess this week is rooms 15, 17, and 18. Make sure that you are going where you're supposed to be going. Okay, Kate, I know that you've been like waiting all week. Like, I just know, I can feel it. You've just been waiting all week. You've been thinking to yourself, what? is the week's academic adventuring trait gonna be? Well, now you know what? You're gonna find out live next to me. Here it is, and this is what it is. Okay. Okay, you okay. ready? Yes. Okay, I can tell. Okay, it is this. Being prepared for class. Being prepared for class. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. What's one thing that you do to prepare for class? I make sure I have all my materials ready for the lesson. Oh, that's great. Okay, now how do you prepare for school? Um, I brush my teeth. That's great. Cool. That's hair. good. That's really good. I get dressed. Good, good. These are all good answers. All right. Um, so I, I just think that preparation. You cannot do enough to prepare. Take your time right? to be prepared. So last week, what did you do during the snow day? Um, well, I was sick Monday, so I kind of uh, just sat. It's oh. good to rest. Mm -hmm. That's important. Like, and then you know, I got really tired from doing nothing. Yeah, that happens. <laughs> that, that happens. That happened to me. I was sick last week. Same thing. I was just wiped the entire weekend. Mm -hmm. So I feel your pain. Um, so do you know what I did during the snow day? Mm -mm. I just prepared. I prepared. I took the time to actually just prepare myself for all of the things that I needed to do. So I just organized myself. I organized my life. I organized the schedules, or I organized all the meetings that I had to have, and the people that I needed to talk to, and, and the students that I needed to talk to, and the parents I needed to reach out to, and you know the, the big events that we have coming in. I just took the time to organize, all right? And I just felt better about myself because there was no mystery about what I had to do. I was organized. Same thing for all of you. You can be like Kate. You can just make sure that when you're going to class, you're not like, oh, oh my God, where, where's, where's my pen? Do you have a pen? Can I borrow a pencil? Like, oh my God, I don't, have, I don't have a notebook. Where's my notebook? Oh my God, there's a notebook in this class? I need a notebook in this class? Like, so we don't have to play that game. You know exactly what you need wherever you go. That way you don't have to, you're just cutting out all of that stuff that just might get in the way of the learning. You're prepared for it. It helps you be in control of it the night before. Have a routine. Go through your go through your bag. Make sure that you you're taking out anything that you do not need. Make sure that it's full of pens. Make sure that it's full of pencils. Make sure that you have all of the materials that you need so that you're not scrambling at the last minute. I don't know about you, Kate, but I plan out, well, I'm I'm a little different, but I plan out like all of the things that I am going to wear as far out in advance as possible. And you know that, because I talked about the, the, the shoes that yeah. day. So, I mean, it's, it, but for me, like, I don't like to wonder about like getting up in the morning, oh, what am I gonna wear? I don't know what I'm gonna wear. Like, do you, do you like have your clothes ready the night before? No, because um, I like, I have a lot of clothes, mm -hmm. so, and like, I usually, like, I have, sometimes I do plan out what I wear the night before, and I just pick it out in the morning, but sometimes I just pick it in the morning. Okay. Well, if it works for you, if that's the way that you organize, I'm, all, I'm, I'm for it. But for everyone else, I would say, like, take the time. Make sure that you're limiting the amount of thought and decision that you have to make in the morning. Because we're all sleepy in the morning, you know? So make those decisions 
the night before so that you don't have to worry about it. So be like Kate, be like Batman, and be like the following person that we're going to talk about right now because don't forget, Kate, it is, mu it is March. We are still talking about the women in our lives and the ones that we aspire to be. And today we are going to talk about Ruth Carter. Ruth E. Carter is an American costume designer for film and television with over, with over 40 films to her credit. During her 30 year plus film career, Carter has been nominated four times for the Academy Award for the best costume design. For her work on Spike Lee's biographic film, Malcolm, 1992, Steven Spielberg, Spielberg, historical drama film, um, in 19... 97 and her most recent work on Ryan Coulter, Marvel superhero films Black Panther and Black Panther Wakanda Forever. For her work on Black Panther, she won the award and, and thus became the first African American to win Academia, Academia Award in that category. This past week, she made further history by winning the same award for Black Panther Wakanda Forever, which makes her first black woman to win multiple Oscars in, the, in any category. Ruth E. Carter has a large exhibit, exhibit at North Carolina Museum of Art displaying more than 60s of Carter's original game marks, while also showcases her impressive progress historical research and the attention to detail that exemplifies every project she brings to life. Great job, everyone. Thank you for talking about Ruth Carter. Um, okay, so let's see. So, while we're in a celebratory mood, okay, we're celebrating all sorts of things. We're celebrating the fact that Ruth Carter just won her second Academy Award. That's fantastic news. And she's just like right next door from Springfield, Mass. That's great. Okay, so while we're all enthusiastic, all right, I think that we should just channel our enthusiasm towards Birthdays. Do you like birthdays, Kate? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Birthdays are good. Birthdays are good. Um, okay, so we are going to celebrate all of the uh, birthdays for the following fine individuals who are just awesome and make this world a better place. So, happy birthday to Demi Place, Mrs. Plana, Ava Cusino, Lexi Rolone Caligros, Nick Hutchins, Shane Duncan, Ezekiel Rolone Caligros. So happy birthday, everyone. I hope that you have the best birthday ever because you deserve it. That is why. Okay, and then now what goes good with a good birthday cake is just a nice cup of coffee. So my favorite part of going to weddings, I don't know if you knew this, Kate, but my favorite part about going to weddings is not the ceremony, Okay, sure, people are in love, they fall in love, they get married, that's great, okay? It's not, it's not the dinner, the dinner is always good, but it's usually the same sort of thing. My favorite part, it's not the dancing, and I like to dance. My favorite part, okay, two things. I like the cake, and I love, just at the end of the night, having a nice cup of coffee, all right? And that's what's going to happen here, okay? You are going to have two individuals here who are going to have a fresh cup of coffee from Batman himself. Mrs. Miss Brooke. Miss Brooke, congratulations, Miss Brooke. Mrs. Porth. And Mrs. Porth, Miss Brooke and Mrs. Porth, congratulations. Okay, so I, Kate, I think that we did it. We got through it all. You know, we talked about what the fifth grade class is, how they were going to eat. We talked about the academic uh, trait. We talked about the, uh, we talked about Ruth Carter, and we talked about birthdays and coffee. So. It really, it's just about like getting off the air and just having our day and making sure that everyone's getting back to class, right? No. No? What? The joke of the day! The joke of the day! Oh my god, uh, here I was talking about being prepared. And I'm not prepared. I wasn't even listening to my own advice. I should have been listening to your advice. So from here on out, I'm going to be listening to Kate. She's going to help me. She's going to be my life coach. All right, Kate, so you have a... I don't have a joke. D did I give you... I didn't even give you a joke. 
Yo, Kate, here's a joke. There's a joke for you. Why did the little flower ride a bike? That's a great joke. Why did the little flower ride a bike? It didn't have any pedals. It didn't have any pedals! That's a good one. Great job, Kate. Great job. All right. I hope that everyone had a great weekend. I hope that you are all planning to be prepared for the rest of this week. The more prepared they are, you are, the more successful that you will be. All right, in all aspects of life, you'll just feel better and your grades will feel better because of it as well. I guarantee that. All right, so everyone work hard this week and don't forget to have fun twice.